Hey everybody, my name is Kedamo. Welcome back from the video of Last Judgment. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, boys, we went ahead and continued the main story, finally. And uh, what we did in the main story is we talked with Mamiya, uh, you and Mamiya. We uh, talked her into telling us what the groping was all about. It turns out it was all fake, obviously. Kuana was acting as a stand-in for Aura, so that's what happened. Then we get we went and saw Aura, and we got a confession out of him about the fact that he did murder uh, Mikoshiba, but uh, he won't admit. He did tell us he won't admit that to court, but he is gonna accept the appeal for the groping. So we are advancing quite nicely. Let's just head back to our headquarters now and see what the next uh, series so, of events is gonna be like. Aura admitted to killing Mikoshiba, did he? Off the record, yeah. He also admitted Kawana approached him to offer revenge. It sounds like you were productive. It's enough for us to move forward with the appeal, I'd say. How does that sound, Genda-sensei? Uh, Genda-sensei? The sexual battery and Mikoshiba's murder are the very same case. To clear Ahara of harassment, you'll need to prove he murdered Mikoshiba. But you don't have evidence he did, do you? Ehara-san was captured on video committing the murder. And the prosecution claims it's a fake, of unknown origins. The police are saying the same. They're only saying that to cover their asses. In reality, the sexual battery evidence against Ehara-san is what was really fake. Exactly, the least, that's the fake we one. We Mamiya have all we need. We have an alibi, we got alibi Mamiya. Or not. You really think the courts will grant you an appeal for just that? Are you saying that's not possible? I wouldn't go that far. But Ehara won't admit to murdering Mikoshiba in court. Kind of significant, don't you think? So what chance do you have even if you do appeal? Without any decisive new evidence, you'll just end up splitting hairs over the original verdict. And what good will it do other than damage your own reputation, Sarukun? So Genda is worried about Seri's career. I'm sure that's the case. Although, that seems very suspicious all of a sudden. He's acting a little bit weird. I said a little bit sus, boys. He's got uh, Genda in the, in the works as well. Is he part of the whole Kuwana affair as well? To be honest with you, I feel like I've been deeply underestimated. What? Sorry, son. Are you actually mad? Well, I think she's yes. mad, all right. As a matter of fact, I, I think it's the time we let her you do our thing. Right to be. Listen, Sensei. Ehara and Kuwana devised this plan knowing full well they could manipulate the justice system. Have we not fallen right into their trap? If we take pity on the prosecution now, we play right into their hand. True. So how can we worry about reputation when our duty as lawyers is to face the law? I understand where you're coming from, and you're right to think it, but... And there is no but! Well, acting as a We're going for the appeal, and that's trial, it! I never Stop being a jerk! Claim. I didn't trust the person I was defending, and I felt sick to my stomach even being in the courtroom. Sorry, son. Ahara likely saw right through that. He probably took great delight in our myopic dedication to the law. And I won't stand for that. I'm gonna show him exactly what I can do. Hmm. What about you, Yagami? I want to hear your thoughts. I'm all in. He's not saying it, but he disagrees with Sari. How should I move this forward? We should listen to Sari. Again, that is a point here. I defer. Uh, I defer to uh, Ishu Oshino. Oh, <laughs> I got you. I'm just gonna deflect. That means I deflect. No, I'm all. I'm all in with Sari. I'm not gonna deflect. I'm all in. We gotta go for the appeal. First step, go for the appeal, then worry about the whole murder situation. It's one step at a time. We should listen to Sari san. I understand why Ahara and Kawana did what they did, but I can't condone it. I see. So you feel it too, huh? I absolutely yes. feel it too. Although my motivation may not be as righteous as Sari san's. Hmm, what do you mean? Mikoshiba's murder, the fake groping alibi. The one behind it all was Kawana, and he's in hiding. 
We need to shine enough light on him that the public can see what he is. Exactly. The perfect place to do it. We need to shine light on him so he does come out of his so it's not a cave or something. We gotta bring him out somehow. We pursue Ahara's case. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I want Kuana to be out and I want to convict Kuana. Soma from our case and Sawa Sensei knew too much. Which means whoever's behind them has a secret that needs to stay buried. Even if it means murder. And I need to figure that secret out. I owe Sawa Sensei that closure. The only thing we can do for her now is make sure the ones pulling the strings pay for it. Well said. I guess going back wasn't ever really an option. Genda Sensei. Looks like I got complacent from all the peace and quiet. Leave it to me to underestimate the younger generation. I apologize. I shouldn't have been so impertinent. And that should be my line, Saurikun. I suppose I have to make up my mind after all that, don't I? Yeah, Get you should. Do what needs to be done. And heaven help anyone in your way. Yeah. Right. Yep. You heard him. All right, here we go. We're going for the appeal, boys. Time to do our thing. Uh, Tsukumo's calling. Is everything all right? Hello? Yagamishi, are you still in Kamurocho? Uh, yeah, sure, I am. Right. Yeah. What's up? I'm afraid RK seems to be amassing any gene show. Very bizarre. Are they now? Yeah, I can't shake the feeling that the officers like Soma and Akutsu are still in town. You think so? If I was Soma, I'd have left the Jinsho by now. He's a person of interest in Sawa Sensei's murder, too. I see. That does make sense. Things are settling into place here, though. I'm heading back to Jinsho with Sugiura. We got a lot to go over with you when I get back. <laughs> Wonder what it could be. Okay, see you soon then. All right, well, I guess we're heading back to Linsho and talking to Tsukumo and investigating what's going on here in the uh, the whole affair. So since we got to head back, let's take the taxi. We do have to... Wait, how do we go back, though, to, uh, to the other city? That's the one thing. Maybe Cyro High School, if I go back there, maybe I'll be all right. I can probably head back to Cyro High School. That's probably going to do the job. It's going to bring me back to the other city. Well, now that's something. Looks like we're finally starting to see the whole picture. Kuwana-san, or rather Kitakata-sensei, huh? And his students helped Ihara murder Mikoshiba. But there's still some things that doesn't explain. Like what? Like, why does RK keep going after Kuwana-san? That's the you real that's question. Too, right? What yeah, do they he's... have on him? Why, yeah. why do they want him? That's the piece of the puzzle that'll lead us to why Sawa Sensei got killed. Why is RK after Kuwana, exactly? How much do they know about him? Before they came to Ijinsho, RK was originally looking for Shinya Kawai. But when they found out he might have been killed, they suddenly shifted gears to Kuwana. So what are they trying to accomplish? We can guess all we want, but that's not going to get us anywhere. Shouldn't we ask someone in RK directly? They're strengthening their numbers in Ijinsho as we speak. The coons at the bottom rung aren't going to be in the know on that, though. Though if Akatsu or Soma were around, then we might get somewhere. That's true. Sitting around here won't get us any further. I'm going to head into the city for a bit. I'm quick on my feet. That's about all I have going for me right now. How modest of you. Yeah, don't say that, Yagamishi. Otherwise, what ground do we have to stand on? I should head outside for now, okay. So now we're gonna go talk, maybe... Oh, we, we got a message. Hold on, we got a message, boys. On our phone, who is texting us? I'm Asawa again. Uh, how's the investigation coming along? Uh, if you're ever stuck, try using the school diary to review the situation. Our nemesis, the professor, must be stopped. He sneaks his way into this heart, uh, the hearts of innocent high schoolers, turning them into delinquents one by one. Remember, a truly heartful detective can solve uh, incidents before they even occur. Yes, I know, Amasawa. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. It's just one thing at a time. You know, I can't be uh, worrying about everything at the same time. 
already have my own case to go by with the whole murder situation. Uh, this is not um, the professor is not on my hit list right now. So, what do we do? What do we want to do here? Uh, look around town. That's easy enough to say, but uh, what does that even mean? Look around town. I'm kind of confused, boys. So let me see the the actual mission. Maybe it's gonna tell me probably. Uh, I get how Kawana. Okay, so I just want to grab them by the throat and make them tell me. Let's take a look around town for them. Okay. So we just gotta look for a bunch of gangs. Uh, there is some gangs right there, so we gotta punch them. I guess we gotta fight them off and uh, get some info out of them. Wait, someone calling me again? Hello. It's Shirosaki. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Yeah, what's up? I was thinking back on our interview with Ihara-san, and something he said isn't sitting right with me. So I wanted to ask your opinion. Which part felt off? The part about Kuwana approaching other bullying victims beside the Harasan to offer revenge. The Harasan also mentioned that most of them rejected his offer, but never went to the police either. Yeah, and? Well, wasn't the first bully Kuwana killed his own student? Shinya Kawai, I mean. Tormented by his beliefs, Mitsuru Kusumoto's leap left him in a coma to this day. That event was the catalyst for Kuwana's actions. So wouldn't he have approached his parents about revenge too? You're thinking of it's going true. after it's those true. people in order to We're have some more alibis? Mother, right? More witnesses? Maybe. We could go after the mother, yeah. For more witnesses. That could stand in for potential murder. Yes, who is currently Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. If she accepted or is even an accessory to a revenge plot against Kawhi, then there's no way she'd ever want that secret to get out. With her level of influence and power, wouldn't it be possible that she ordered RK to silence Kawana? Which would explain oh, how is that so? Are, are they government employed? And you think it's Reiko Kusumoto? <laughs> you don't think vice ministers can control criminal organizations from the shadows? You know very well the answer to that. Yeah. Tsukumo's actually looked into her before. I'll talk to him about it right now. Yeah, this is genius, Sari-san. This could lead us right to who's controlling our K. Exactly. If they're controlled by the government, that means they're... Damn, the government is actually supplying the RK. Wow. That's next level. We gotta head back to Tsukumo right now, yeah. So the government is supplying RK, which... It's crazy to think about it, but makes sense at the same time. They're being supplied. Wow. So they're being financed by the public. That's crazy to think about that. Yo, Tsukumo, I got some real good stuff that I just done. learned from Sarah. Already? <laughs> that was quick. I figured you'd be out in the town until evening. Well, the day's not over yet. I need you to look into Reiko Kusumoto again. She might be the one behind RK. Really? Yeah. Can you pull up the picture of her you showed me last time? She might be the one trying to go after Kuwana, okay. so she uh, did a hit a list on hit list on him. So that's what's recently. going on here, probably. It hasn't even been a full year yet. Looks like she's still got a good rep. Yeah, there's almost no criticism of her out there. The Ministry Revolution. Bucking the bureaucracy. Golden parachutes don't fly with Kusumoto. <laughs> Go her. Vice Minister is pretty high up there, yeah? Big time. If she really did take Kawana up on his offer, silencing him would be the quickest way to save her skin. And in that case, she'd need some kind of connection to RK. Some kind of connection? A bit vague, no? Fair enough, but RK already took an innocent life while hunting Kawana down. Right. And after killing Sawa-sensei, they tried to kill me, too. Still, no matter how dangerous the gang, murder is a risky proposition. Then again, if someone's pulling the strings, they have a lot less to worry about. Especially if that someone has vice minister status. Well, the internet's not gonna give us much else. How about we do our usual thing? Go straight to the source. Maybe we should. Would it really be that easy to get a meeting with someone like her? Mitsuru Kusumoto's still in a coma, right? Yes. If he's in a hospital, we can catch her by surprise there. 
I get True. A I'm surprise meeting. Huh. That could be a, an effect. What's this now? What's what now? Breaking news from the net. It says manhunt for Sawa Sensei's murderer. And? It's hitting the network news too. The person they're after is... Wanted for the murder of private school teacher Yoko Sawa in her own apartment, Kanagawa PD... Oh, they're blaming the murder of Sawa on him. Oh, shit, now it's on. It's official, yeah, she's definitely behind it all. Yeah, the vice minister is definitely behind it all. She's definitely trying to get rid of him. been using a false identity for over a decade. The police are hopeful that their search will turn up some sort of connection to sawa -san. All makes sense. Why are the police going after Kuwama and not Soma? What the hell? Well, that's just part of it. Soma is now an employee of the government. So that's why they're not going after him. That's hmm. crazy. If Kuwana-san was caught on camera, then surely some RK thugs were as well? Yeah, I think so. On that note, I should have been in the footage, too. The police only seem to want Kawana, but why? Guess we'll have to ask them ourselves. Ask who? Detective Watanabe from Kanagawa PD. He was the guy in charge of Mikoshiba's murder. Oh, we're calling the cops, just like that. It's been a while, hotshot. Yeah, I guess it has. Hey, I'm curious. Do you have any evidence that Kawana killed Sawa-sensei? I take it you saw the news. Kawana was caught on camera near the crime scene. Plus, he knew the victim. And if that's not enough, he was using a fake name. How's that for evidence? But I saw Soma holding an ice pick up to Sawa Sensei. Plus, there were RK footprints all over the scene. So why is Kawana the only suspect? Because the big boys with big balls at HQ said so. Barking at me won't get you anywhere. So this is all just pressure from upstairs? What is going on here? Why are you so bent out of shape? Kawana's a legitimate suspect, and all we're doing is following procedure. So stick your private investigator schnoz somewhere else. You know, you sound pretty bent out of shape yourself. Where are you right now? Uh huh? I was thinking maybe we could meet up. How's a free pass to bitch about your work sound? Abe-san? On the phone, in person, there's nothing I can tell you. <sighs> he hung up. Damn, he doesn't want to talk to me at all. Focus in on the background noise from your phone calls. Despite all the interference, I have a good idea of Nabe-san's location. What? Seriously? You just he's act his phone. In Chinatown. This guy is a maniac. Sure find him. But is he even going to listen to you? It won't matter if I miss him because we sat here wondering. <laughs> Yagami Detective Agency, quick on its feet indeed. <laughs> Can't compete with that. Nabe should be on the main street in Chinatown. I need to catch him and find out what's going on. Exactly. We need to interrogate him. Uh, I can probably take a taxi over there. Probably easier to do that. Chinatown. Here we go. Don't know if he's in south or north Chinatown. So I'm just going to head towards the north part. We'll see if he's there if we're lucky enough. Alright. So he's in the region. We don't know for sure where exactly he is. But we know he's in the region. So... Let's try and find him. He's somewhere in here. So where could he be? What is he doing in Chinatown as well, you know? Oh, there we go. We might have something. Yagami, why are you here? Oh, hey, Nabe-san. And you were... It's Sakurai. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> sure. I take that guy. just happened to be in the neighborhood. Well, it's it's definitely not a coincidence. A sense of smell. You can say that. Something stinks about the cops here. Excuse me, pal. The Sawa case. Why aren't you going after RK? Or are you and you're just keeping me in the dark? <sighs> this isn't the place to talk about that. What the? Hey! I get the feeling something's keeping you guys from doing your jobs. And I don't have to listen to you. You want to say that again? Sakurai, I gotta hit the camp. Head back to the station. Huh? Need to take a piss, Yagami? You're looking hydrated. Yeah, I do need to take a piss, yeah. actually. Good now time. that you think about it, and now that I think about it. Damn. What's he up to? See, his partner is 
is a straight dude, but I do like the real guy. Like I do like him. Nice Nabe is a good dude. Very romantic. He's just caught up uh, in all of this and he can't do anything well, because obviously the system can't break it. Do the cops really believe Kuana is responsible for Salasensei's death? You wouldn't be looking for him if he weren't serious. You could have a warrant. To arrest Kuana? His real name's Yu Kitakata. We've been using a fake. And he services right at the murder scene of his former student. In my eyes, he was suspicious enough. What about Soma from RK? He should have been spotted on the nearby cameras, too. Like when he entered her apartment. He wasn't. <laughs> How is that possible? Let me rephrase. There's no footage that had RK anywhere near it. What's that supposed to mean? You know what that's supposed to mean, my guy? They're not looking for RK because RK is working for them. They're not going to arrest the people who work for them. After that murder footage came out, it really stirred shit up. Sawa Sensei's case has me scratching my head too. Someone at the top is trying to keep details under wraps. They think it'll work even in this day and age. You're saying the whole force is in on a cover up? Yeah, that shit's crazy, man. Sawa's apartment. Someone on the inside erased it. Any footage that had the RK guys tagged in it is totally wiped. Raise the footage. Are you serious? Yeah. You heard me. Kawana leaving her place is all that's left. Even the parts where you show up are long gone. Before and after, the only person that the cameras pin the crime on is Kawana himself. Who would go so far to erase the footage? Who would do something like yo, that? Yo, 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 Yagami, chill. He's, a, he's your partner, he's your friend. Don't do that. Shiba's case and Sawa Sensei's case. They're closing the book. And to tie up the loose ends, and this is the shitty part. Kuwana has to die in an accident. What? As soon as yeah, it's the government way, my guy. That's just how they do it. And then blame it on negligence. They'll say he resisted arrest and died in the struggle, I guess. Someone clearly wants Kuwana gone. And they have the power to do it. Come on. Who could have that power? Kuwana is clearly a target of someone higher up. Even if he sees it coming, he won't be able to stop it. As far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. You wouldn't understand until you've been on the force. When the team you're playing for is rotten to the core, all you can do is look the other way. As for me, I'll stick to the cut and dry cases for a while. That's what will keep me an honest cop. That's bullshit. It's not bullshit, Yagami. He's not a detective, he's a cop. There's nothing he can do. And then you call that being an honest cop? Asshole. Did you forget that you were talking to a detective? You never did answer the question, Nami son. Who had the authority to erase the security cameras? That guy means going in. Going He's mad so as fuck. Do it inside. Even if I told you, what the fuck could you do about it, detective? Smart ass! <laughs> Leave it alone, Yagami. It's for your own good. Is that your call? Well, I think I'll be the judge of that. Why is Yagami being a prick Piece right now? We were friends. Enough. It, Nabe was literally my friend a second ago. It's not his pr Why are we blaming him for all this shit? It's not his fault. It's not. I don't get it. I really don't get it. All right. Well, whatever, boys. It's whatever. I mean, we're doing what we can right here. He's he like he can't he can't help us. It's not his fault. Literally not his fault, boys. I don't know why we're blaming him for everything that's happening right here for no reason. What's, I get we're angry, but it's not like there's nothing he can do. He's stuck, right? All right, let's just beat his ass, I guess, for no particular reason, just because we're angry. All right, there we go. Just like that. 
Nice little combo right there. That's gonna help out. Oh, watch out now. What the... Oh, man, I messed it up. Holy shit. I'm dead. Well, Yagami, that's what happens when you let your anger control you for no reason. Let's try this again, I guess. We're gonna beat his ass for one, one more time. We're actually gonna equip early on the, uh, the ability and whatnot. Let's go, boys. There we go. Just like that. Like, why, why are two cops, two detectives, trying to fight each other over the fact that they can't do shit about a, a case? Like, seriously. Is this really, like, necessary right now? I really doubt it. Okay, so we're redoing this thing again. Right here. I really like that move quite a lot, boys. Such a fun move and everything. Okay, so I gotta... There we go. So watch out, boys. Can I get me right there? Boom. Easy enough. Holy shit. Look at that. That agility. Superman punch. That was a crazy right there. Oh, he's equipping his, uh, his, his thing as well, right? Whoa, now. How did I not equip that? Holy shit. A suplex, boys. Okay. Got you, got you. Gotta heal myself somehow right here, boys. Gotta be real careful. No, you don't. Oh, shit. All right. Time to use some items. Uh, toughness. Toughness right here. Divine water. Sure, mystical powers. Whatever that means. And completely restores health and gauge. All right. We're gonna use my abilities right here. Not oh, what the fuck? All right, let's go. EX action. Got you. There we go. Palm to the face right there. It's gonna do the trick, boys. Let's go. No, no, you do. You don't. No, you don't, buddy. Gotta keep kicking your ass right here. What a fight, though. What a goddamn fight. You gave me uh, some trouble, that's for sure. 12k points. My god, that's a lot. They broke the lock and forced their way into Sawa Sensei's place. That's when Soma came in. I'm sure she was terrified. They were pointing an ice pick at her. When I found her, her eyes were still open. I could see the tears. Yet the police are going after Kawana instead of Soma. And the cops that were there know he isn't a suspect, but say their hands are tied. So it'll be my voice you hear instead of hers. And when they come to silence me, I'll know who the puppet masters are. <laughs> uh, I hear you. And you're probably right. And if you have any idea who might be pulling the strings, I need you to tell me before it's too late. Is there anyone on the force who would want Kuwana dead. The moment we opened Sawa Sensei's case, the Kanagawa brass had a suspect file ready to go. And they didn't point to your guy Soma. They named you Kitakata, alias Kuwana the Handyman. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? You were the first to the scene, which means the bigwigs pulled a suspect file before it even happened. Where'd the info about Kitakata come from? Not sure. But the National Police Agency said it came from public security. Public security? Public security branch of the police is practically Japan's spying. It keeps an eye on foreign agents, gangs, and political groups. They don't hunt criminals so much as gather intel and analyze it to maintain the peace. Why is public security involved in Sawa Sensei's case? Seems they were interested in RK's criminal network in Kamurocho. You know how after the Tojo clan disbanded, the criminals started going underground? Well, public security would rather let RK roam free than bust them. Monitoring them quietly gives them intel on criminal movements. And even if you catch these guys, the wolves will just take their place. Wait, so they want RK on the streets? Is that why they're brushing Sawa Sensei's case under the rug? If RK goes down in one fell swoop over a murder case, they have to find a new source of intel. Truly speaking, from public security's point of view, that is. Unbelievable. Not that they'd ever say that out in, well, public. If you believe public security, there's no way RK killed Sawa Sensei. What the hell? Do they even have a reason? 
Not that I'm aware of. On top of that, I asked Tokyo PD about Soma. But he doesn't have a record. No priors, no census registry, not even a damn profile pic. Then, what does that mean? The man known as Kazuki Soma doesn't exist, basically. Maybe that's how it's always been. Maybe it's a cover-up. They had plenty of files on Kuwana to send our way instead. They're the ones who made him the prime suspect in Sawasensei's case, too. That doesn't make any sense. Well, it does make sense, Yagami. My thinking is Soma is actually been working with the government all along. He's actually an undercover agent, probably a spy himself. So that's what you meant which Kawana would that that would make a little bit of sense. Better to flush your shit than keep that would be crazy though. Can imagine it's easy for public security to pin the blame on Kuwana. Then again, dead men don't talk. If they get rid of Kuwana, they'll be enough to muddy the waters. So who's running the show in public security? Do they have a name? I wasn't told, unfortunately. I'm afraid I'm further down the food chain than you thought. Yeah, Watanabe speaking. Huh? Eugene show. Huh? Right. Got it. Call me if anything else comes up. Kawana has been spotted. A witness reported seeing him in Eugene show. Seriously? He's, He's back, back here? again? Couldn't say for sure. Where's he at? Fukutoku Cho, in Koreatown, where the Komi Jewel hang out. The police are headed there now. Komi Jewel? Apparently, it means spider web in Korean. You haven't seen it? It's made to look like it's abandoned. And Kawana's there? You're not going to say you got that from me, right? I don't have much time. You said Kawana might have an accident, didn't you? I'm sure that's why you're telling me all this. If you find him, let him know it's public security that's after him. I mean business. See, that's why I don't get it. Why did we beat his ass for no reason? He could have literally just continued to talk to us about this. Instead, we went all aggressive on his business for no reason. I just think we like... I think it's my under my impression, boys, that we just like to kick people's ass for no reason. I feel like it's just a hobby of us. Uh, if they don't start talking right away, we just completely like kick their ass. So I'm going to end the video right here. Gonna leave it uh, for the next one. We're gonna find out if Kuwana's gonna be alright or not. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy, boys.